May 23rd. On this day we celebrate the memory of our Venerable Father Michael the Confessor, the Metropolitan of Sinada. Born in Sinada in Phrygia, St. Michael early left his homeland for Constantinople, where he linked himself spiritually in friendship with St. Theophilactus, whom we celebrate on the 8th of March. The two young men showed such great unity of thought and feeling that they were seen as one new man. When St. Tarasius, after having received the monastic habit, was raised to patriarchal dignity, the two friends became monks in their turn in the monastery he had founded on the Bosphorus. Rivaling each other in ascetic striving, they made rapid progress in virtue enhanced by the glorious adornment of humility and the constant gaiety of their souls. Tarasius, informed of their great feats, appointed them Scevophylaxis of the great church, and shortly afterwards succeeded in making them, against their will, accept episcopal consecration. Theophilactus, as metropolitan of Nicomedia, and Michael to be the pastor of his homeland, Sinada, in 784. Rightly proclaiming the word of truth, both by his teaching and his life, patient and merciful, having overcome anger, this good shepherd had churches and monasteries built and founded hospices and charitable institutions to help the sick, to help the destitute and the strangers. Bishop Michael was present at the Second Council of Nicaea in 787, where he upheld the orthodox doctrine of the veneration of the holy icons. Then, on returning to his diocese, he quietly resumed his pastoral work. In 806, the year in which the holy patriarch Nisiphorus, whom we celebrate on the 2nd of June, succeeded the departed St. Tarasius, St. Michael was sent by Empress Nisiphorus to lead an embassy to the Caliph, in the course of which he gave proof of all his qualities as a man of peace and conciliation. In the autumn of 811, he was sent to Rome as Patriarch Nisiphorus's legate to present his synodical letters to the Pope and to assure him of his support concerning the veneration of the holy icons. When, after he had reigned for two years, the new emperor Leo V the Armenian unveiled his dark designs and restarted the persecution against the holy icons, St. Michael immediately allied himself with the defenders of the true faith who had gathered with Patriarch Nisiphorus. Euthymius of Sardis, Joseph of Thessalonica, Emilianus of Sisychus, Theophilactus of Nicomedia, and many, many others, clergy, monks, and layfolk, who held themselves ready to shed their blood for the true faith. They presented themselves before the sovereign and tried to bring him to reason, both with arguments taken from the Holy Fathers and by reminding him of the support they had from the Church of Rome. But it was in vain, and blinded by his fury, the tyrant had them arrested and sent into exile, far from one another, and with a ban on their corresponding. St. Michael was sent to Eudocia in Phrygia, where he remained for more than ten years, suffering all the ill treatment he received with thanksgiving and praying for his persecutors. He would not for anything cease defending the Orthodox faith and being ready to help the unfortunate, and he maintained unchanged his program of ascetic life and nocturnal prayer. He worked many miracles there, healing by his prayer and the honey of his words both men and domestic animals, and succeeded in taming and converting the rough inhabitants of this remote region. The emperor, learning that exile was turning for the saint into an increase of glory, ordered that he be transferred somewhere else. Wandering hither and thither, the man of God came to a land infested with a multitude of rats that were ravaging the crops. He explained to the in inhabitants that the plague had been sent by God as a punishment for their sins and ordered them to spend three days in fasting and repentance. When this time had passed, he called them to go all together into the fields. While the people called Kyrie eleison, 
that saint knelt and interceded for them, his hands and his eyes turned heavenward. An earthquake immediately shook the region, and all the rats perished at once. Moving to another place called Erantisia, the inhabitants begged him to pray that they be delivered from the uncountable hordes of grasshoppers which were ruining their crops and fruit trees, threatening them with famine year after year. The saint spent the night again in prayer and early in the morning went at the head of a procession in which all the people of the land took part, singing, Kyrie eleison, Lord have mercy. The grasshoppers gathered together on a thick, dark cloud which rose into the air and disappeared. The saint continued his wanderings, driven from place to place, shedding God's mercy on men and on their crops. Finally, after having spent some time in prison in Constantinople, he was exiled once more to the shore of the lake of Nicomedia, where other confessors of the faith were waiting until the good pleasure of Emperor Michael the Stammerer allowed them to rejoin their dioceses or their monasteries. Aged more than ninety, Exhausted by his trials, St. Michael continued no less to pray for the Emperor, for the peace of the Church, for the salvation of the world, and for the abundance of the fruits of the earth. On the Monday of Pentecost in 826, after leaving a meal organized by his long-time friend St. Theodore the Studite, with whom he had never stopped corresponding during his exile, the Holy Prelate, seized with a sudden malady, had to take to his bed. On the next day, Theodore found him in the throes of terrible pain, and on the third day, the Wednesday of Pentecost, St. Michael, who had lost the power of speech, breathed his lust in the presence of his friend and companion in striving after forty years of episcopate. His lifeless body, St. Theodore writes, looked like an angel, and shone with flashes of the divine light which so many years of prayer and contemplation had imprinted on it. The relic of his precious head, offered as a gift to the great lavra of St. Athanasius on Athos by the Emperor Basil II and his brother Constantine VIII in 978, lies venerated there to the present day, and continues to work miracles to protect the crops from predatory animals, both those belonging to the monastery and those in the regions to which it is being sent. Blessed is our God always known for the good the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art in all places and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Guide of all 
orthodoxy, teacher of piety and holiness, luminary of the world, God-inspired adornment of hierarchs. O wise Michael, by thy teachings thou hast enlightened all, O harp of the Spirit. Intercede with Christ God that our souls be saved. In the deep abyss in times of old, all of Pharaoh's mighty host was overwhelmed by the power supreme to arms. When the word took on our flesh, he utterly crushed and blotted out pernicious sin. For the Lord, who is most glorified, has gloriously been glorified. O holy Hiram Archer, Michael, pray to God for us. Having shown in a asceticism with the ineffable Lord, thou became the high priest of God, O divine Michael, guiding the royal priesthood and shepherding the church of Christ, the all-blessed Father. Holy Hiram Archer, Michael, pray to God for us. Speaking eloquently with a sonorous mouth, with all reverence, thou made clear unto all the divinely uttered doctrines, O most blissful and all-blessed Michael, refuting the blasphemy of the heresies and victoriously championing true religion. Holy Hiram Archer Michael, pray to God for us. As a dwelling of divine gifts of grace, so this manifestly impart them unto all the faithful, O all lauded and most blessed Michael, having acquired a divine way of life and clothed with the righteousness as a garment. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou didst persevere in worshipping with due honor the sacred depiction of God and of God's Mother, O all-sacred Michael, and thou didst destroy the prating blasphemy of the heretics, putting them to flight with thy words and suffering. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. When the sun shone upon us from thy womb, O August and all pure virgin, he brightened us with deifying lightnings, and he, the glorified Lord, banished all the darksome confusion of demons, for gloriously is he glorified. Upon the rock of faith hast thou now confirmed me, Thou hast enlarged my mouth over mine adversaries. My spirit has rejoiced mightily in chanting, There is none holy as our most holy God, and there is none righteous but Thee, O Lord Most High. O holy Hermar to Michael, pray to God for us. In the stead of fleeting things, O divine eloquent Michael, Thou didst prefer things that pass not away and abide through eternity. For Thou wast eminent in many ways, crying out, there is none holy as O most holy God, there is none righteous but thee, O Lord. Holy Hiram Archer Michael, pray to God for us. Divine grace was poured forth on thy lips, thou didst open wide thy mouth, and didst receive the gifts of wisdom, and didst cry. There is none holy as O most holy God, and there is none righteous but thee, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With abstinence thou didst subjugate the passions, by divine vision thou didst enlighten thy mind, and becoming thoroughly experienced in active deed, thou didst sing, There is none holy as O most holy God, there is none righteous but thee, O Lord. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us, who of godly mind, praise Mary, the all immaculate Theotokos, who has appeared as the cause of our salvation, Unto her we cry, there is none other hope and stuff of the faithful but thee, O all him one who are glorified of God. Through perfectness of life, thou didst offer thy whole self, becoming thus a priest of the Lord God the Most High. And strengthened by him thou didst stop the mouths of the heretics that were opened wide against the icon of Christ God. And in persecution thou, o blessed Father Michael, didst finish thy holy course. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. 
possessing thee in truth as our bold intercessor and advocate with God, O August Ever-Virgin. We flee to thy holy church, and we all ask thy mighty help. Wherefore, rescue us from all the malice of demons, snatch us from the terrible and dread condemnation, who faithfully call thee blessed. Neither an angel nor yet an ambassador, O my Lord, but thyself incarnate camest from a virgin and holy maid, rescuing me the whole man. Wherefore I cry to thee, glory to thy power, O Lord my God. O holy Hiram, martyr Michael, pray to God for us. Longing for crowns of glory, thou didst forsake the comfort of the flesh, O all-blessed initiate of sacred mysteries, and thou didst sacrifice thy whole life to Christ as a sacrifice of most sweet savour. Holy Hiram, martyr Michael, pray to God for us. They who have now shown themselves to be aliens are hobbled and have fallen from the straight path into the pit of heresy, whom thou didst set at naught by honouring the icon of Christ, O all-blessed Michael. Holy Hiram, martyr Michael, pray to God for us. Thou hast worthily received the rewards for thy contest, O all-honoured Michael, as thou now rejoices and dances with the heavenly hosts as a martyr, a worthy of wonder. Holy Hiram, martyr Michael, pray to God for us. Thy tongue has been shown to be the pen of the Spirit, O all-glorious Michael, celebrated by all, for it meditated in the Scriptures and the incarnate dispensation of the Word, the ruler of all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Shining in the sacred and honourable vesture of thy priesthood, thou wast distinguished in confession, becoming a spectacle to angels and to men, O all a venerable Father, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Direct my life and order it aright in the divine commandments of the Word, who was incarnate of the Orthodox, and guide me on to the light, O Virgin Mother Mary, Bride of God. Thou art the light of them that lie in darkness, and the salvation of all the despairing, O Christ my Saviour. O King of Peace, to thee do I rise up early. With thy radiance do thou enlighten me, for save thee I do not acknowledge another God. O Holy Hire Martyr Michael, pray to God for us. From thy mother's arms thou wast consecrated to the Word, O Revealer of sacred things. For as a divine offering thou didst excel in active divine vision, and didst reap the fruit of wisdom truly becoming a shepherd worthy of acceptance. Holy Hiram, Martyr Michael, pray to God for us. The Word of God dwelling abundantly in thee, overflowed with the rivers of teachings, wherein we delight, O godly-minded Michael, and we are glad, O blessed one, truly endowed with thee as a mediator to make the Lord merciful unto us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. He who ordered all things with divine authority adorned thee with the unction of the most mystical priesthood, O God, the Revealer. For knowing the splendor of thy life, for thou becames the most eloquent priest of God. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. He that deigned to become equal to us in all things, tabernacled in thee, O all blameless Mother of God, even the all holy word who shone forth from the Father, and was born of thee as both man and almighty God. Compassed by the abyss of my many sins, I invoke the boundless abyss, and unfathom deep of thy compassion, O my Christ. Raise me up out of corruption, O Lord my God. O holy Hiram, martyr Michael, pray to God for us. Glad in a robe of salvation and divine gladness, O all fame Michael, thou hast received from God a worthy crown of confession. Holy Hiram, martyr Michael, pray to God for us. After patiently enduring bitter exiles, thou hast reached the spacious breath of paradise, where thou dost dance for joy with the martyrs, O all-blessed man of godly mind. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou 
became the disciple of Christ God and his zealous limited his sufferings, O blessed and divinely inspired Michael, bravely casting thyself into perils for his church's sake. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All the prophets were noetically initiated into thine inexpressible giving of birth, O all pure virgin, portraying in symbols and foretelling unto all men the things to come. Having dawned upon the world like a great day star, thou dost shine upon all men with thy great virtues as with light, and with the rays of thy miracles namesake of angels and worker of miracles. The transgressing tyrant's command that was set against God fanned yet higher the flame of fire. But Christ spread the dew of the Spirit over the God-fearing children, for he is blessed and supremely glorious. O holy Haramarta Michael, pray to God for us. That beast of evil name could not endure the divine sound of thy tongue, O exceedingly sacred Michael, but condemned thee to distant exile. How be it he was put to shame on beholding thy steadfastness, O sacred preacher. Holy Haramarta Michael, pray to God for Christ, us. Christ, altogether sacred congregation of the Orthodox, is guided by thy teachings, O always one to work a Michael. For thou became an instrument that when struck cried out the mighty deeds of the ruler of all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Wisely did thou reprove the blasphemous and godliness of man, his ill-famed offspring, O righteous Father Michael, by openly honouring the old immaculate icon of Christ, and of the Mother of God, and of the saints. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou becamest the beautiful abode of the incarnation of the Word of God, O all blameless virgin, for in his great compassion he assumed me, the whole man, even he that is blessed and supremely glorious. To the Lord God who did descend to the Hebrew children in the fiery furnace, and did transform the flames and the burning heat into dew. Chant praises and hymns, all ye works of his, and exalt him greatly to ages and all ages. O holy Haramarta Michael, pray to God for us. Standing at the tribunal, O Michael, thou divine herald, thou wast not dismayed at the threats of the lawless, but with unrestrained voice thou didst cry, I reverence the immaculate icon of Christ, the Saviour and of the saints. Holy Haramarta Michael, pray to God for us. In thy staunch and steadfast determination, thou wast glorious in wrestling with them that fought against God, as thou didst demonstrate in word and deed, that the Immaculate Icon of Christ, the Saviour, and of the saints, must be reverenced. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Seems thou knewest that the honour rendered to the Icon passes over to the prototype, O Father, revealer of sacred mysteries, in agreement with the divinely inspired scriptures, thou taughtst all to reverence the icon of Christ and of the saints. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou makes a never-ending stream of healings to pour forth for the faithful, as we draw up bounteous grace therefrom, we praise thine immaculate offspring and exalt him greatly to ages and all ages. Our God and Lord, the Son of the Father, which is without beginning, has appeared to us incarnate of a virgin, to enlighten those in darkness and to gather the dispersed. Wherefore we magnify thee all him, Theotokos. O holy Hiramarta Michael, pray to God for us. Shining now with infinite light, while standing in the presence of the great light, O all blessed Michael, thou hast plainly been deemed worthy to attain to that end which thou didst greatly long for. O Father, whereunto thou didst also run with diligence, having passed thy life in piety. Holy Hiramarta Michael, pray to God for us. Thou hast been deemed worthy to see that splendor which passes all understanding, whose manifestations thou didst receive while yet on earth, O admirable Father. 
By thy mediations implore Christ that thy disciples be rescued, who now reveal and honour thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O divine Michael, a sacred herald of Christ, with the blazing light of thy wisdom from yonder effulgences, whose source thou hadst within thyself, Thou wast manifestly strengthened by divine grace to quench the presumption of them that fought against God. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Like the fleece, thou didst conceive the heavenly reign in thy womb, O all blameless virgin, and thou gavest birth for our sakes to him that gives ambrosia, to them who piously load him, and declare thee to be the all hymned Theotokos. As a sharer of the ways and a successor to the throne of the apostles, O inspired of God, thou foundest discipline to be a means of ascent to divine vision. Wherefore, having rightly divided the word of truth, thou didst also contest for the faith even unto blood, O Hieromartyr Michael. Intercede with Christ our God, that our souls be saved. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honourable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, our hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Holy Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, and the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, who the prayers of St. John the Baptist, of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy life-giving cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven, and the prayers of our fathers among the saints Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Sisoes the Great, Brandon the Navigator, Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Morlug, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors, and the prayers of our righteous father Michael, the confessor, bishop of Synoda, with the prayers of the Holy Mother Mary, the wife of Cleopas, with the prayers of the Holy Martyr Salonas of Rome, who was perfected in martyrdom by the sword, with the prayers of the Holy Martyr Salocus, who, having been sown asunder, was perfected in martyrdom, with the prayers of the righteous martyr Michael of St. Saba Monastery, the disciple of St. Theodore of Edessa, with the prayers of our Father among the saints Leontius, the wonder worker, Bishop of Rostov, whose precious relics we found this day, with the prayers of our righteous mother Euphrosina of Palotsk, with the prayers of our righteous father Paisius of Galich, with the prayers of our righteous father Goban and all those with them whose memory we also keep this day, with the prayers of the holy ancestors of God Joachim and Anna and of all the saints have mercy on us and save us, for he is good. And he loves mankind. Amen. The prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.